understand. Probably something I will never understand. But, uh, I don't know. I just, I wish more people who make videos would actually reply to guys who actually really enjoy their videos. Not like I'm trying to get anyone in particular to reply to me. Any big YouTubers or nothing. Because I don't really care about that. It's just the user and, uh, the user and the YouTuber, you know, the watcher and the YouTuber, I don't know what you would say. But it, the, the relationship gets kind of rocky after a while. Oh, I've got so many subscribers now, I don't even have to, I don't even have to talk to you guys anymore. That's just boring. That's just not fun. That is boring. So, if I would highly suggest... I don't know, that's probably like the most fun part for me of making videos, is actually seeing your guys' comments, uh, what you think of the video, because I, I take everything that you guys say into serious consideration. Um, I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> by popular demand, I will usually change something, but if, if someone suggests something that just, I don't know, sits right with me, I will definitely go out of my way to change a specific, specific thing about that. Now, uh, we have found a very large cave system. This is crazy. Where was all that iron? There we go. Grab this iron up real quick. I think we're gonna trek back real soon. Make some diamond tools. That'll help quite a lot. And uh, that's that's just uh, that's something I think about when it comes to YouTubers and whatnot. I think uh, I think more YouTubers should definitely talk to their fans more. Try to get their fans more into uh, I don't know just to be friendlier with the people that watch your videos. That's how I think, and that is uh, definitely what I'm going to be trying to do very soon. Is I would do live shows, but my computer is just like, bitch, I'm not going to make this easy for you. So I'm going to definitely be trying to do that a lot more. And uh, let's go back to the RuneScape. So I played RuneScape and that kind of got me into playing more online games. I kind of started to discard my PlayStation 2s and my Game Cubes, and I was like, well, I'm going to start playing some more online games. And uh, I guess you could say that RuneScape was the first MMO that I played. And uh, it kind of got me... Ooh, I have 33 of this? Wow. It kind of got me interested in more games. Then I played... <laughs> Adventure Quest, which really isn't an MMO, more of just a single-player Flash game. And uh, after that, I played. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of a lot of crap for this, but I played Toontown. <laughs> I know, I know, I I know, I know. You guys are probably laughing really hard right now. You're probably going Toontown, Town, and I know. I don't ever want to be reminded that I played that game, because that is uh, I just I don't know. I I really wish I hadn't played that game, because that is just you know that's one of those things. Everyone's kind of got something in their life that they're somewhat ashamed of. That is probably what I am the most ashamed of. That I actually played that game. And I played it for a long time. I played it until I was around 16. So I played that game for basically a year. Albeit I had a lot of fun and I actually met a couple of really awesome friends through that game that I still talk to today. Uh, I talked to this one girl named Ariel. Uh, although she does not watch my videos because I kind of like to keep my videos private from people who actually, who I talk to normally in real life. And, uh, people have been finding out more about that, so it gets a little awkward when they're like, oh, this is you? I didn't know you were so perverted. And I'm like, well, you should know that, but yeah. So I played Toontown, and uh, that, that, that kind of helped me get through a lot of rough patches in my life, because to be honest, depression is not easy. Depression is a bad thing. And I try to keep my Minecraft videos more lively, so I don't really like talking about more personal subjects like this. But, uh, you know, it, it comes to a point where you kind of just got to talk about it every once in a while. And also, there's this mod where you can... What, what, what does it do? It basically, it kind of turns your, your torch into a lantern almost. So if you, if you have a torch out like this, 
the light will just follow around your character while you're moving. And uh, I, uh, a user sent that into me, and I'm gonna be messing around with that. Although I won't use it for this, but uh, for mods and stuff like the uh, Amnesia Minecraft mod that that one awesome guy made, uh, I'm gonna be using it for that. And I think that will be really cool. I'm really excited about that. Jump. Let's let's see. We has more gold. Probably getting some obsidian soon. I am actually gonna want to go to the Nether. Although, I'm sorry, Notch, but the Nether was just fun for like the first five visits. But then after that, it was just so boring. Hopefully, there's. It's just like there wasn't anything to really do when you went there. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there was stuff to do and I just didn't know. Oh, oh, okay. It's getting dark. So, yes. Toontown. Regret playing it, but it did kind of help you. And it's weird how games can help you. And another thing, talking about games, is addiction to games, which I will be talking about later but as for now i'm going to leave you guys uh thank you so much for watching and subscribing and rating and being amazing i love you guys so much i will see you on whatever next pod it is because i have been recording for a very long time but uh once again thank you guys so much for watching uh don't forget about that one oh wait no actually probably already talked about that <laughs> i will see you guys on the next episode my name is banana Pallord.